Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to another First Impressions video. Today I'm taking a look at Diablo 4 on the PlayStation 5. Now this is just come in the sale on the PlayStation Store a few days ago, so I thought I'd pick it up with some funds and stuff that I got around Christmas time. Now, I did play quite a bit of Diablo 3 um, when that... I didn't get it when it first came out, I kind of got it in a sale. Um, and I probably put about 15, maybe 20 hours into it, but it, it never really, if you like, uh, grabbed me. Um, I thought it was a decent game, but it never really grabbed me, the story and things like that. Um, now, this one, I, I've always quite liked the look of. Now, I know there's probably quite a few detractors out there for this game. Um, it's... Activision Blizzard, of course, we know the reputation they've got, um, and I, I'm so early into this game yet I can't really give you any in-depth thoughts on the microtransactions that this game's littered with, and um, a few of the other things like that. Uh, this is really is just my early impressions of the game after playing it for a you know a, a, just a handful of hours really, um, and so far it's very very positive. I think it's one of the best looking games I've seen for a long time. Um, certainly in regards to the cutscenes, I mean the cutscenes are all are, are just staggeringly good. Um, and the graphics in game are really good as well. Now I do like CRPGs, and this is, you know, it's a kind of dungeon crawler, you know, looting game, uh, and that can be a really addictive gameplay loop if the game is done properly. And so far, I have definitely have no complaints there. Um, you go into the game, you can customize it in so many different ways just just the settings of graphical settings and all that kind of stuff i mean there is literally um you know the choice is yours and then you go into the game and you got a whole you choose your class and it's the usual thing with games like this i always generally go for the barbarian i always like to create conan type building these types of games and this game is no different i even called my character conan in this game um and then you kind of thrust into this story and it's I have to say the story is is grabbed me early on. You know, I like the fact that you kind of just a kind of lone wandering that kind of reluctantly kind of dra gets dragged into this quest. Um, the combat is slick. Uh, the animations are good. Um, the frequency of weapon drops is good and armor drops. So it's it's giving you that addictive gameplay loop where you're picking up new sets of armor and new weapons and all this kind of stuff. Um, when you level up, there's new abilities that you can give yourself so that you can um, add to your arsenal, you know, in regards to um, fighting the enemies in the game. Um, the enemies are, are pretty... So, I mean, I've, like I said, I've only put a few hours into it, really. There's been a wide variety of enemies already in regards to human and, uh, like, skeletons and spiders and demons and you name it there have been a wide variety of them so far even you know a handful of boss battles um and it's it, again you can customize the game to make it as challenging or not really and again uh, if you don't know my channel or my content i always go into the games these games early on and put it on a fairly easy level just so i can learn the game learn the mechanics learn how it plays and then um increase the um difficulty of the game moving forward um and it's it's been a really nice simple game to pick up and play uh, and get used to it's not it's not difficult to learn uh it's very very simple it's a hack and slash essentially um but it's uh, so some crpgs in certainly in my opinion it can be too far away this one has kind of got this nice aesthetic where um it's just at a right distance when you're doing the combat and then when it you're doing like um a discussion with characters in the game it kind of zooms in a little bit so it, you feel like a real person sometimes in the rpgs you're so far away you don't actually feel real in this you do um i really quite enjoy that it's got the usual thing you know you're going to like these towns and villages and you've got people that you can sell things to buy weapons buy armor um so on and so forth uh, and it's so far i don't really have an awful lot of complaints with this one i'm not gonna lie um I, i'm 
looking forward. And for me, that's a big part of any game that I play. If when I turn the game off, I'm looking forward to playing it again, then it's done something right, regardless of some of the negativities. So this is definitely doing something right, because um, when I'm turning it off, I'm looking forward to playing it again next. I'm looking forward to seeing what's next in the story, and I'm looking forward to seeing um, what new equipment and new weapons I can pick up uh, with this game, and what I can explore. So it's doing all the right things at the minute. Um, I am going to obviously continue to play this one, um, and I will try and give you an in-depth review uh, in the coming days or weeks, depending on how much time I put into this game. I really want to put a lot of effort and time into this one, um, and I want to give you a full review for this one, warts and all, and I'll let you know my honest opinion of it going forward. But in the meantime, here's about another 25 minutes worth of gameplay for you guys to check out to see if this is something that might interest you if you haven't thought about it before and of course i will of course be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon storm has passed. Another abandoned town. Demons everywhere. Fangs in the dark. Ah, he bit me. Careful, he's a wild one. What's it to you? Also, in hush. I'm sorry, wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? Come, I'll explain. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Oh, nothing special about our little town, but it's home. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. 
Truly? Oh, thank you. Are you hurt? If Devmir is taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. <laughs> a warm heart. There are still things to be grateful for in this world. Wh what's that? Y you say something? Woods around here are dangerous.
By mother's blood, by mother's body, so uh, shall you witness her glory before you die. <laughs> All of them. Light willing. Madman. Those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins. Just like you. I came to my wits and escaped. Tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked and... <laughs> What manner of evil is this? Petals? Of blood? They... They must have fed them to me. A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. <laughs> 